it ever okay to tell a lie? It can be a complex and moral dilemma, but in some cases it could actually save your life. So Melanie's joining us now. And Mel, as women, uh, we know it's important to be aware of our surroundings. And if a situation doesn't seem safe, a lie could really be the best way to protect yourself. Yeah, and honestly, we have that intuition. We all do, men and women, and we have to trust our gut. We have some unsettling, unsettling statistics too. Just about every single minute, 68 seconds, someone is sexually assaulted. And nine out of 10 of those victims are women. Now of those cases, 15% happen in public. And that is why it is so important to pay attention to your surroundings and who you give information to. Is lying ever okay? It depends. Well, it depends on when she's buying the dress, you know, is if she's in the middle of buying it, uh, uh, maybe give more honest feedback. If she's already bought it, she looks great no matter what. <laughs> I have I have probably said that I've had to like go home early or, you know, excuse myself um, from things if I didn't feel safe. Sure. Experts say it's more than OK to tell a lie when it comes to your safety. You have to realize now that you have a built in burglar alarm. It's like your car. So your safety intuition can see what's happening around you. And if you don't listen to it, you're missing the signs. A recent study reports one in two women felt unsafe walking alone after dark in populated areas and in their own neighborhoods. When does telling a lie become the best course of action? First, if you're on a solo trip and someone asks you if you're alone, say no, I'm on a family vacation. If you're in an elevator of your apartment complex and someone asks if you live there, say no, I'm visiting my brothers. If your Uber driver asks if they're dropping you off at home, say no, I'm visiting family friends. And if you're drinking at a bar alone and someone comes up to you, say my husband is parking the car. Remember, in life, Honesty might be the best policy, but when your safety is at stake, a lie might be a lifesaver. All right, to consider a few other things, take it a couple steps forward, especially if you live alone. Consider getting a security camera, install motion sensor lights outside. Also invest in a personal safety device like pepper spray or one of those personal sirens that goes off when you press a button. You might also want to try what is called the shoe trick. You put several pairs of shoes at the front door to make it look like more people live there. Like in my house, my kids always leave their shoes at the door and I don't want them to. All right, if you do think someone though is following you while you're driving, do not go home, go straight to the police station. And key here is really just trust your instinct. It's usually right. Yeah, and what important reminders. I love the shoes. Mm -hmm. I've not heard that previously. You, that. you know, the thing is, is not everybody's a good liar. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm terrible I'm at terrible. it. I'm terrible, we're awful at it, I know, right? So I think the thought process here is think about what is that story in advance. So if you ever are in an uncomfortable situation, what are you going to say? Have the story already planned out so that you don't have to think of a lie right at the drop of the If you think of what's at stake, that too, you yeah. Know, that, easier. That, that makes it easier, yeah. With, yeah. It's tough because you're not hurting somebody. With, no, you're with protecting kind of, yourself. Yeah. It's just have, thinking about it ahead of time. Yeah. You know, it's kind of worst case scenario, mm -hmm. which we remind our viewers about all the time, the importance of that. Yeah, no thanks, doubt. Mel. All right.